I'm Meg from the Edmonton Public Library and today I'm getting ready for a teddy bear picnic. These are my teddy bears. This is Bernie, Babs, and Stanley. Do you have a stuffy with you today? What's your stuffy's name? I'm going to get ready for the picnic with some things that I found around my house. This is what I found around my house. I found some wrapping paper, some tissue paper, a little bit of yarn, some tape, and some leftover Easter eggs. And the Easter Bunny left some grass. Maybe you can ask a grown-up for help to find some things that you can use around your house to get ready for your teddy bear picnic. But oh no! It looks like I have another bear here! And she's just still in her dressing gown! She's not ready for a picnic at all! Let's see if I can use the things that I found around my house to get her ready for a picnic, okay? So here is my bear. The first thing I did was I took some wrapping paper and some tape and I made pants. So I'm gonna wrap them around my bear's legs. And the second one right here. She's already looking much more stylish. Next, we're gonna add a top with my tissue paper. I'm gonna wrap it around all the way from front to back. And then I'm gonna use my yarn to tie it all together. What do you have to use for your teddy bear. Maybe you have some of the same things that I do. Maybe you have different things. It doesn't matter. It's all about having fun. Oh no, it looks like I might need a new piece of tape there. I'll make sure to get some. We wouldn't want Wisdom to go out without her pants on. All right. One fresh piece of tape coming up. And finally, to be ready for the teddy bear picnic, she needs a hat. So I took one of the Easter eggs and I tied it to a little piece of the green grass. And she's gonna have a nice little hat right there. Now she's all ready for our picnic. Now we're gonna finish getting ready for our picnic. I have some stacking blocks and they're gonna be our teacups. Now Bernie is the biggest, so she's gonna get the big teacup. I'll give it to her right here. I'll take the next one, and then one for Babs, one for Stanley, and one for Wisdom. Now that we're ready for our tea party, I'm going to read a book to my bears. Maybe you could read a book to your stuffies. Are you gonna get some food for your picnic too? What's your favorite kind of food to eat on a picnic? I love fruit salads. Mm, so tasty when it's warm out. So whatever you decide to do, please share your creations with us at hashtag summer starts EPL. And if you want to, you can watch the next video where I'm going to read some stories to my bears here. Thanks for watching and you can find more at EPL from home at epl.ca slash EPL from home. Check out epl.ca slash summer starts for lots of other fun activities. While you're there, remember to log your reading minutes. Your weekly submission counts as one entry into our grand prize draw. You can also enter our weekly contest to find this year's mascot, Turtle Swift, for a chance to win a free book. Remember to use the hashtag hashtag summer to share any of your wonderful creations with us this summer. 
Thanks for watching and keep checking back for more fun videos from Summer Starts at EPL. We don't want the teddy bears on their picnic to hear us. Hi kids, EPL staff have been hard at work getting the new downtown children's library ready for opening. And one morning when they arrived at work, do you know what they found? A lost teddy bear named Stanley. And this mischievous little guy has been keeping library staff very busy. He's been getting ready for the day in the mirror He's been checking out the new books to read. Looks like a good book. And we've even discovered him checking out some of the amazing new features in the children's library. He's learning his alphabet. Do you know your alphabet? And he's making sure that all the lights turn on. Good work, Stanley. And he even checked out that Makerspace green screen is up and running. <laughs> Looking good, Thor. As adorable as Stanley is, though, he needs a new home. And so we've created 21 prize packs with little Stanley bears in them. And if you enter your reading minutes between now and August 29th, your name might be chosen for you to adopt Stanley. So if you're amazed by this little sneak peek at the Children's Library, be sure to stay tuned for more details of the new Downtown Library Online. Shh.